There we go. Could be the case. Ban Everest. <laughs> that's a that's a tag. All right, yeah, Tet. Uh, I believe Eastern Washington um, uh, as well. The uh, yeah, there we go. We see it up in the, yeah, up in the Iwa. top right. There you go. Iwa, uh, Iwa Tet, and going up against Sly, playing the playing the Crom. Definitely, definitely a matchup that's that's interesting. Is you know Crom does have really good speed, really good way to weave his way in between uh, in between hitboxes and find a good opening and keep Luigi in disadvantage. But at the same time, Luigi has you know has big combos and also has the ability to you know get out of those combos with that down B. So it's always scary when you're a character like Crom who's relying on like not. Oh wow! wow. Whoa! <laughs> that's one way to punish that. I was gonna say sometimes you know he gets out of your combo yeah. with the down B like just like this, but sometimes you could just be like, all right. You want to get out of the combo? What if there was no combo and you get ass smashed, baby? Dude, but the call to go for a forward smash in that situation, that's absolutely ridiculous. Just like that, uh, Sly trying to get, oh, just janking him of that recovery once oh again gosh. until he gets the stock for sure, but still doing a phenomenal job at recovering. Uh, <laughs> just doing a wonderful display of skill with Cross. That was such a crazy interaction yeah, in the corner. He went, he grabbed him three times out of the upbeat, and then then he, That's oh, no, no doubt, no zero to death. But and then, and then it was just a, oh, that, was, that was just really funny. Nice, uh, nice up smash right during the invulnerability, and then after it, or I guess during the armor, yeah, crazy, crazy. I absolutely love this matchup. It's it's one that I don't we don't get to see often. Krom doesn't have a lot of representation, and and I think against Luigi, it's a uh, it's very interesting to watch because of course the Falcon is going to um, pretty much deal with the the disjoint. It's going to be massive in order to get these juggles and the constant pressure as Luigi tries to land but we see we saw what, what happens when Luigi gets a, a weird opportunity to get in right he just goes away with it they get some oh janky yeah stuff. He, he always does has some janky stuff that yeah. he can pull out right now just a oh, a little bit of, a little bit of micro walk in there oh does not oh, get the confirm and yeah you. you see right there every time he, he gets that jab off Tet is waiting to fire that down B. I'm not trying to get comboed on anything but back throw. Could be dangerous. Always still has really good air drift, though. It, yeah, that grab, it just always seems to work. And, and he got, he's got the timing now, which is extremely scary because how do you recover? Like, he's conditioning the recovery, the recovery with the plunger, and he's also ready to punish you with a grab with a plunger. So great stock from Sly, but gets the, gets a footstool. Unfortunately, not the stock just yet. Yeah, footstool, really hard to kill Luigi when he still has a jump. He just has such a high vertical recovery, but the Jair is going to do it. Nice job by Sly. And oh. now, down air. There, oh. down air. Oh, oh gets the weak hit of down air, so doesn't get the full combo. Good smash GI in for Sly, but that might be something that Tet keeps in the back pocket for next time, knowing that knowing that Sly's going for that smash GI in. Now, I would like, I would love to see a soaring slash jank uh, the chromicide, but that's not going to happen. The stock is going to be very close to uh, being taken, and of course, with the pressure that Sliding's putting out, uh, it's putting out, it, it just becomes even harder. Now, Grom can pull some stuff out with Rage, so he might very well bring it back, but he needs to get one of those nasty reads with the Falcon. Yeah, all Tet needs is one big hit in the corner mm -hmm. to get this kill. But now Sly, really good pressure. How is he gonna? How is he gonna capitalize on this? Good juggling. Does he wait out the down B? A lot of times Luigi's will down B here. No. Okay. That time he thought Luigi was gonna down B, but uh, Tet mm -hmm. did not bite. <laughs> He's looking at him going. Wow. <laughs> just footsies, just making sure that waiting for the mistake, right? Dash He's attack. fishing for it, and that is going to be it. The stock yeah, is that's gone. It. He was very close to recovering, though, and that, wow. you got to give him to him, right? Krom has a very exploitable recovery, and uh, despite the fact that Sly did a phenomenal job at forcing Ted off stage, he still managed to recover, and that's completely commendable. Yeah, really nice job by Ted there, closing out that game, making sure that he uh, he doesn't he doesn't make any more mistakes because in the corner, there's a lot of times he kept he kept forcing the pressure, he kept getting mm. the grab on Krom's yeah. recovery, but eventually. Eventually, Krom would like find his way out of the corner, and it's it's always scary giving scary. him extra chances. Yeah. Now at the rage and how good he's doing at uh, juggling around, that percentage goes up in a second. So now that we're in Hollow Bastion, things might change a bit. That middle platform will allow for some uh, circular motions, circular uh, pathways in order to victory. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe Ted does something different here. 
But uh, as long as he keeps that recovery on point as he did in the first game, things should still keep a little bit even. Yeah, okay, nice. Nice uh, pressure here for Sly getting Ted off stage. But Spiking. it seems like every time every time he's had Ted off stage, it hasn't really been enough to get any sort of kill. Um, had one read on the neutral get up, getting the, that with the jab. But we're still looking for a big confirm from him from Sly before he's gonna be able to get a stock here. I mean, still a lot of percent to go, and Tet has just been winning almost every neutral interaction so far. Just a double Ooh. jab into catch the nice. roll in. Wow, Tet knew. How the did he know? Mind games. He was ready for it. And even if it didn't know, it felt like it did. And that, and that's didn't know. It felt like it did. And that's insane. No, you you know that it's going to condition a lot of uh, decision making Double going obsessed. forward, right? And he's still getting a lot of damage, missing on those grabs and the LB, which is going to uh, cost him a bit of an extra punish. Let's see how Ted tries to go for this. Smart. I like it. I Should respect be dead it. here without a double jump. Yeah, nice, nice job. Normally, it's uh, relatively hard to counter uh, Luigi's recovery because he just goes so fast past you yeah. that usually the counter doesn't hit. But that time, uh, Sly positioning well. Maybe Tet going a little bit off and oh, missing the grab that time. Mm -hmm. but, but still has the plungers and another <laughs> one. Oh, that's gonna be so rough. Like, how do you recover, especially given how well Sly manages to cover every single option, or at least the ones that matter the most, right? Absolutely, and good tech chase in the corner. Could be an opportunity here for Sly to get back into this game, but no, Luigi is gonna fight his way out. Nice job by Tet. Still though, it's Sly keeping up the advantage state. Oh, oh, trying to get the uh, trying to get the tech chase there with the jab. Does get a, a little bit of a follow-up, but I think uh, looking for even more. Oh, oh wow! That could have been it, especially with the rage, but that was a perfect cyclone to avoid, avoid certain death. Now there's no jump. How are you going to recover? The answer is you're not. You're not, yeah. <laughs> and okay, so all, all Luigi has to do is get one grab here, and Ooh. it might be the ah. end Ooh. of... Oh, oh man, <laughs> that would have been such a cool, that, that would have been such a cool moment. That would be the clip, yeah. Yeah, 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 that would definitely be a clip. Unfortunate, uh, unfortunately for Sly, that's not going to be the case just yet. And that only allows Krom to just uh, garnish a little bit of extra rage, right? The extra damage that he can dish out. But look, it's just so hard to come back uh, back to stage when Luigi is up onto your case. But a bit of a weird situation there. I, I do believe that was a uh, sus DI, but still. Yeah, a little sus DI on that trade. But going for a up off the corner, perhaps uh, maybe we're looking for a Chroma State here, or Sly is just going to opt for a forward smash to try to end the whole game. <laughs> looking for the might air dodge, right? Yeah. Might not have been uh, enough to get the kill, but maybe. definitely now it will. 69% though, the Super Saiyan is out. Great mix up, finally making up a change so that he doesn't find himself on the low end of that recovery. No spike, despite the fact that he's fishing for it. That Cyclone is going to make him hug that corner. The stock is not yet relinquished, but the pressure is on. As you mentioned, the rage and the amount of damage that Luigi has could bring for an insane comeback if it were to happen. Okay, get up attack and now, oh wow, just this is twice we've seen it's just a really aggressive yeah. Cyclone in neutral, almost ending the game. No more. Oh, not like this. Oh, Sadly. really unfortunate for <laughs> Sly. Uh, but really good showing. It feels like almost had Ted at the end there. Uh, by the way, for those in chat who are looking for 